are below. Whose guest, whose guest was close was closest to six hundred and eighty-five? All right, all right. Thank you very much for reading. All right, so I will be asking various people to read. All right, so all right. I want everybody to just take a quick look at that. Take a quick look at that first. Right. I want everybody to take a quick look at the question, and then we want to decide what mathematical operation do you think you know you'd need to use now in order to find a response to this all right let's go all right so anybody want to suggest um what would you do in order to find which one of these numbers would be closest anybody Go ahead, Javon. Sir, I would subtract. Sir. All right, exactly. Subtraction is what you need to use. All right. So you want to subtract. Um, you want to subtract all the numbers from this way possible, or this from the numbers that are bigger. So, for example, um, we could look at Sheldon's. This one. So we're talking about 685, you want to subtract 585 from it. And you're looking at about 100, right? So for this one, we're seeing 100. That's the difference. Um, for this one, which is to Shane, you're talking about 685 still. And 607 from that, right? And you're seeing, what, about 78? So you're seeing the difference, right? You want to see which is closest. Already, um, Tashin is closer than Sheldon to that number. Let's look at Lamar. So Lamar, we're talking about 780, no, 731. And we want to check how closely it is to. So the 731, we want to see how closely is that to the 685 and that's about what six that's about 46 all right so um lamar is leading at this point let's check dave 885 685 and this is 200 so you so after subtracting you're seeing which one is close because the question is we want to know which one is closer or the closest to, to 685. And then definitely everybody would see that Lamar is the answer. Three children are weighing their dogs. Jerry's dog weigh more, weighs 36 pounds. Danny's dog weighs 10 more pounds than Jerry's dog. Sarah's dog weighed the most. How many pounds could Sarah's dog weigh? All right. Many pounds could. We don't know what it is, but how many pounds could it be? Could it be? Could. Now, it could not be 46 um, remaining. Why? Why could the answer be 46? Remaining. Yes, sir. Remember... Yeah, man, let's talk. We're talking to you now. You said the answer is 46, but 46 is the is the weight for Danny's dog. Because Danny's dog would weigh 10 pounds more than Jerry's dog. So if Jerry's dog is 36 pounds, Danny's dog is 46 pounds. At the end of the day, Sarah's dog weigh the most. So Sarah's dog could not be 24 because it has to be more than 46. Could not be 40. It could not even be 46 because Sarah's dog weighed the most. So the, the bigger, so the number here that is actually bigger than all of those would have been 51. So 51 is a possible weight. Of the dog to this one. Okay, sir. Jennifer works three days per week. 
She works four hours on Thursdays and four hours on Fridays. On Saturdays, she works double the hours she does on Fridays. How many hours could she work each week? All right. Nicole, go ahead now with, with the explanation that you have for this. And then we want to verify from the class. want the class to verify if they got this or not. Go ahead, sir. Okay, sir. So firstly, you said on Thursday, Jennifer worked four hours. And then on Friday, she worked another four hours. Then it said doubled, sir. So what you're going to do is multiply the four times two. Then you would get eight. Then it says you're going to double it again. So eight times two, it would be 16. So 16 would be your answer. All right. So I'm going to read it for myself now, right? It says Jennifer works. All right. So you have 16. So Nikoi has 16 hours for the answer. All right. We want to double check to see if this is fine. Um, is there anybody with another answer or those who did it kind of agree with that? Quickly. Do we agree? I just want one or two persons just yes, to agree. Sir. All right. Yes, sir. All right. So let us, I'm just going to read it now just to make sure. I right, said so Jennifer works three days per week. She works four hours on Thursday. Okay. So four on Thursday. Four hours on Fridays. Okay, four on Fridays. On Saturdays, she double the hours she worked on on a Friday. Okay, so on Saturdays, she double the hours on a Friday. So Saturday is eight. All right. How many? Okay, you're all right. 16 is it. All right, so we're just adding up these numbers. So you would have read it and kind of just put the numbers at the appropriate place as you read and get the clues. So we are actually adding the four for the Thursday plus the four for the Friday, as you suggested, plus the eight on the Saturday, and that's a total of 16 hours. All right, I agree as well. Very good going. Okay. Marsha is playing a game with a die. The numbers one to six are represented by dots on the die. She tosses the die five times. In this game, what is the highest total she could make in five tosses? Okay. So you're suggesting that the answer is? 30, sir. All right. And why 30? How I arrived to my answer is I looked at the numbers on the dial. It said the numbers were one to six. I looked at the highest number, which was six, and I times it by five. Exactly. Because, she took, because she did five tosses and we want to know the highest number. All right, good. All right, exactly. So you're suggesting that if, if you want the highest number, you're going to have to pick on, on that highest and then see how many times you would have gotten that same number. So you would have gotten six, five times remaining. Sir, that's the same answer I got as well. All right. Very good. Very good. Go ahead. The width, of a classroom, the width of a classroom door is represented in the picture below. Which of the following is most likely the width of the actual door? All right. So I think what they want to do here is, is um, kind of see if you have a regular judgment. They want to know if you, if you have a, a good judgment of what these things actually are right tell me if you remember certain things right now you can see a door the width of the door the length of the door is the longer side and then the width is the shorter side right everybody are you there yes sir yes sir now yes, sir. is it possible for the width of the door could kind of represent the length of one of your hand true or false kind of the length of your hand if you should like um go beside your door stand beside it put your fingertip at one end and stretch your hand across the door for example let us say this is my finger let us say i'm gonna try to create my finger let us say that's my that's my finger and it's my hand and i do this is it possible that it kind of would stretch itself from my fingers to my where my armpit is, kind of? Yes or no? Uh, yes, sir. Yeah, kind of. So you could see that, all right? So, so, so it's like at the length of one of my arm, like just one, one of my arm. 
it's basically like a width of a door. Give and take a little less or more, right? Um, so here is the idea now. Anybody knows what one meter is? Because I see a lot yes, of people say meter. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. One meter, one meter is basically like I'm saying I'm saying basically, so you have to give and take a little, take off a little or add a little. One meter is basically from your fingertips to your to where your armpit is. Basically, from your fingertip to all the way to where your armpit is. That's one meter, basically, or to the center of your chest, then. That's basically one meter. All right? So now what we're suggesting is you want to see which one of these would kind of equivalent to one meter because the width of the door will basically be very near to like a meter, which is like one stretch of your arm. 10 meters would be way off because 10 meters is very long. Imagine you divide up a 100 meter, which is, you know, you're saying about them sprint 100 meter. If you divide that into 10 equal pieces, that's what 10 meter is in. So we know that there is no door that could be so so wide. Like that's not what the regular door size is. All right. So 10 meter is too big. All right. Um 0 0.1 kilometer. Pointed. So the question is, do you know what 100 centimeter is in terms of meter? Anybody knows how to convert that? If not, we're going to have to spend some time on conversion sometime in the future, maybe next week. Anybody remember that? The auto convert from centimeters to meter? No? Yes, sir. How many centimeters make a meter? 100, sir. 100. So, so, so basically, then this is saying that this is one meter. You understand? So, yes, so. So 100 centimeters is actually one meter. And then that would have made this the appropriate answer. 100 centimeter is basically like your the length of one of your arm coming to your chest, which is like the width of your door. 